What's up, my beautiful nieces, Divine Feminine, and my handsome nephews, Divine Masculine. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. See the clowns back there? They taking over while Oscar's out there collecting the karmic energies, okay? So if you want Oscar to stop by your town, just put your city in your state or your zip code. And um, he will be to your town. And you'll also get a shout out. I want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for all the love and the support. Thank you for all the comments. Um, thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the donations. Thank you. So we're just going to tap right into this reading and find out. As I split the deck, somebody may be coming to apologize to you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, so somebody wants to apologize to you. You could have been loyal to this person. So why do they want to apologize? They want to apologize to you for you being loyal to them. And they had your judgment clouded. You were loyal to this person. Now they want to apologize because whatever they was doing that had you in a distorted energy. Now they want to apologize because you straighten it up and you're flying right and you're balanced. So now they want to apologize. Oh, and they may want a commitment. They may try to come get on their knees. may try to come propose to you. That's another part of another way for them to cloud your judgment. Mm. Yeah. That's why now, Divine Feminine, you are not showing no love to this person. You basically like saying, fuck it. Mm -hmm. You got tired of them blocking you, pushing you away, avoiding you. You got tired of that shit. So all the loving, nurturing energy that you was giving this person, you stopped. Yeah. So what's the energy going on surrounding the Divine Feminine and the Masculine energy? What's the energy surrounding the divine feminine? Somebody don't like the distance between you and them, and now they're feeling hopeless. They're falling apart because you distanced yourself from them. See, they was blocking you and pushing you away. Now you're doing the same to them, and they don't like it. Nope. They're feeling hopeless. They're falling apart. Yeah, baby. Yeah, they're falling apart. You didn't kill this person's ego by assist, by distancing yourself from them. Yeah, you broke the ego. So yeah, basically, uh, you're mirroring. This is this is your twin flame. Okay, this is somebody's twin flame. The same energy that they giving to you. Divine Feminine, you giving that shit back. Both of y'all is in reverse. If he's saying he don't give a fuck, fuck your feelings, you saying it too. And see, this probably, this is what then broke they, broke they pride. Because if you were somebody who, you know, they were stubborn and you would be the one who always giving in and trying to make up and you ain't doing that shit you you giving them back that same funky ass energy that they, everything that they doing to you you giving it right back to them you're mirroring and now that you're mirroring this energy to him he's falling the fucking apart <laughs> he's falling apart baby Okay, you can barely see it, but he is falling apart. He's in despair. Yeah, feeling real hopeless right about now. Since you distanced yourself. Yeah. Tell me more about this person. So some of you, you may have energetically just distanced yourself from this person or separated from them. By you, you giving them that same energy, they're not used to that. So you could be in the same house with this person. And 
you're mirroring the same energy they're, you know, pushing out to you. You're letting them know how that shit feel. And they don't like it. <laughs> yep. See, that's crazy because they hopeless and falling apart. How the fuck do they think you felt? Yeah. This person could be crying. <laughs> this is a big crybaby ass wolf. Wuss. Tell me more about this person. And you not giving them a second chance. Because they had a big ego. Their ego was a big problem. Okay? Their stubbornness was a big problem. Their arrogance was a big problem. You don't want to deal with that shit no more. So I guess they, they basically forced you to show them what it feels like. <laughs> yeah. You showed them. You showing them. Tell me more. Yeah, you're mirroring, you're mirroring this, mirroring this person, and they falling apart. They can't take it. Yeah. Okay, Holy Spirit. So. So many energy of this person that the collective has distanced themselves from. And I know this is a karmic partner. Okay, this is a karmic circus, and it's all about this karmic ass clown. So you may want to throw your person in that tent back there. Okay, see that circus tent entrance? Throw their ass in there. Yeah, you say you ain't fighting with this person no more. They could have been ghosting you with the Virgo energy, the hermit. Yeah. Somebody was plotting and planning. They could have been plotting or they're planning for you to put a lot of effort into a relationship, into them, but they wasn't giving, they wasn't doing that. It's like, again, these same funky ass readings say the same funky ass, same old shit. He wanted you to be putting your all into a relationship and he don't give his all. He He's on like some... 60, 60, 40, what is it? 70, 30 shit. <laughs> no equal give and take. Yeah. So you're just saying you're giving him the same energy and you're not giving no, him no second chance. You're working on yourself. Have the happily ever after out here. And somebody being deceptive, hiding some shit. Mm. So, for some of you, you could have distanced yourself from this person because they were doing playing some footsies with somebody else, with somebody they've been giving money to and taking care of financially. Um, they're a maintenance man for somebody. Okay? Okay, so for some of you, this person, they have somebody who they're, they're financially, like, committed to taking care of a feminine energy or it can be a masculine energy okay they're they're obligated to like taking care of this person this could be a baby mama or somebody i don't know but um they're they're sneaking away from this person and i know y'all don't be want to hear but i got to tell you what i'm what i'm seeing because some of you don't want your person back and some of you do, okay? So for some of you, the person you want back, 
is they they tiptoeing back to you. They coming back to you, but they sneaking off from who somebody. They sneaking off from a wastebasket Wanda. And I think they see you as a, a happily ever after. Okay. Or this this person, he could be sneaking off to wastebasket Wanda. Seeking a, a, a happily ever after with her. Maybe somebody, she may not be giving him a second chance. Or she may be trying to, she may be the one who's wanting a second chance with him. And he not giving her one. Or he may want a second chance with her or you. And somebody ain't giving somebody, don't want a second chance. But there is an energy now, Divine Feminine, I see you out here being financially independent. You're able to treat yourself, treat yourself. Um, you're you're able to buy the things that you want. Okay. And uh somebody is being deceptive around you. If your person is trying to sneak off to you, sneak off from you to go see and sneak and see somebody else, he going to be in for a rude awakening. But for some of you, he may be sneaking off from somebody trying to come to you and he going to be in for a rude awakening. And the rude awakening is, it's somebody in a ten of cups and it ain't him. Why he trying to be sneaky? Yeah. So you may know, you may feel that this person was sneaking out, you know, doing some shit. So you could have blocked them, put some space in between you. You could have separated yourself from this person. You're not giving them a second chance. You started mirroring their energy back to them. So maybe they, you know, oh, yeah, and you ain't going back to them. Four wands in reverse. You're not going back to them. This Ten of Pentacles, loss of money. Somebody could be doing money, getting money in a dark way. They could be selling drugs or something, extorting somebody for money, something for extortion. Um, they could be selling something illegal. I'm so sleepy. There's some sort of argument. The tower, Scorpio energy. This could be giving this person a tower. They feeling hopeless. That could be part of the tower. That you ain't giving them a second chance is a tower. You, sh you, by you mirroring the same energy back towards them, what they've been sending towards you is giving them a tower. Yeah. Let me write that down. Because I may write that as the title. They're, mirror, they're mirroring, you're mirroring, mirroring their energy and they can't take it. I be wanting to type all the words for me. I hate it. <laughs> when I don't want it to type the whole word, it won't. I mean, when I want it to, it won't. Yeah. Yeah, 
it. So that's gonna be, I think, the title. Let's I, let something else come out. But they, it's like you started men, you know, mirroring your energy to them. They could have money, and instead of them, you know, wanting to share with you or take you out and do things what people do in relationships, or y'all put y'all money together and you know do some things together this person was only focused on making themselves look good and you know with this being a narcissist they could have made you feel like you was worthless you know they wouldn't you know it's like they could have been doing shit for themselves. And, and this for some of you this could be a narcissist that you stopped working for you know they told you they was going to take care of you and the minute you tell them no they they start you know like Stop giving to you. A relationship is all about giving and receiving. And it's like you could have been given a, a lot and they was given just a little. So you didn't distance yourself or you didn't block yourself. Or you didn't separated yourself from this person. Yeah. And you're treating yourself. You're looking after yourself. You loving yourself. You taking yourself out to eat. You buying your own shit. Or you cooking for yourself. You're doing whatever for yourself. Why this person, you know, they trying to creep off and be sneaky. So we don't know what they creeping off to. They could be creeping off to somebody else trying to start a whole nother ten of cups with somebody. And leave you at home stuck. Don't sit around waiting for them. Get yourself up. And make yourself look pretty. Okay? Make yourself feel good. Get in your car. If you got a vehicle, go and drive around the corner just to look pretty and smile at people. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Everybody in my neighborhood knows me. So I just, like, I'm in a parade. Hey. Jackie. Hey. Queen. Hey. Yeah. And even when I'm looking bad. Check it! Hey! They know me with makeup, without makeup, with weed, without weed. They didn't seen the real me, just like you had. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there's some uh, sort of, you ended the conflict with this person. Yeah. And separated yourself, and now they feel in See, they can't, they can dish it, but they can't take it. Yep, the Emperor in reverse. Aries energy. Not going by the rules and the regulations when it comes to a relationship. Breaking all the fucking rules. This is the ruler breaking the rules. Yeah. With the Nine of Pentacles and out here with this feminine energy. In a, uh, you know, you could have a family with this person. It's supposed to be a two of cups, but I bet the two of cups will come in reverse. And some of you, you couldn't stand up to this person. If you stood up to them, they probably talk shit or, you know, get mad and withhold their energy from you in some form of way. What is this ten of pentacles in reverse? Karma? Judgment? Oh, so by this person being in a in a, um, a karmic energy, being arrogant and stubborn and egotistical, they're losing money and you're able to still spend money. Yeah, you're at the nine of pentacles and they at the ten of pentacles reverse. So somebody may be losing their financial freedom and shit, losing. Their stability, their material wealth. Somebody is losing it all. Somebody is losing it all. Yeah. Because they didn't play by the rules. I got to write that down. Because each of these little things, I can do a whole nother reading on. Someone is losing it all. Because they didn't play by the rules. Yeah. Sometimes my microphone works and sometimes it don't. Okay, yeah. 
this person, you know, they wanted to, they want to be in in something where they can just no strings attached type of energy to just come quickly and go quickly, hit it and quit it type of energy. Yeah. Now you didn't block them. Yeah, because they got to cultivate the baby mama. And you're this empress. She keep coming out. It's a lot of these masculines running around here with these codependent baby mamas because these masculines got a lot of money. They buy a lot of things and they, you know, buy these baby mamas. They're supposed to be taking care of the child, but the mamas is, is basically buying Chanel purses, perfume, um, expensive ass shit, materialistic, you know, and not spending it on the on the baby. You know, and then for some of you, these masculines don't want these, the, the second chance in reverse can be them not wanting this empress back. Okay, they could have blocked or separated themselves and this baby mama, she could be feeling hopeless or baby daddy, take it where resident. Okay, for some of you, this could mean that your person is falling apart if you walked away from them or if you blocked them or something, they falling apart. If it's not, if you haven't blocked your person, your person then blocks somebody, and that person is falling apart. Yeah. So take it where it resonates. It's different for everybody. But regardless, uh, somebody is, is, there's arguments out here. Somebody is getting karma because they didn't play by the rules. Okay. Whether it's with you or with the karmic energy. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. The magician and the magician is all about tapping into your full potential um, having all the tools the resources and the energy to make your dreams come true you can you're creating okay you can make things you can walk in a store and see some shit and be like man before I pay all of that money for that I try to make that shit myself and you do it and you come out better okay to what to your desire yeah. See, and with this magician next to this baby mama, she's codependent, so she don't do anything. You're not codependent, Divine Feminine. You don't depend on this masculine to do everything for you. No. You're independent. She's codependent. see this person he could be a chaser okay that could be why some of you walked away <clears throat> or he could have thought you was going to be chasing after him why he chasing after his baby mama that's for somebody not for everybody but it's for somebody yeah tell me more about this masculine when it comes to the divine feminine. You're no longer infatuated with this person. You're no longer obsessed with this person. Yep. Whoever they are, um, if you're if if this person was the distraction in your life to distract you from your divine partner, then their codependent baby mama or baby daddy is is they're not letting them distract them okay i guess from you yep no long no more stress somebody is going through an emotional storm um like you're 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 calm than a motherfucker you ain't stressing you ain't arguing nobody no more or you or your person is not arguing with the karmic energy whoever the karmic energy is okay it could be your karmic or it could be your person's karmic Take it where it resonates. Somebody could be a Libra, a Taurus. I see Gemini out here, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra again. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and Aries. Tell me more. Yeah, so right about now, either your person is going through an emotional storm if you walked away from them or you blocked them, or somebody else is going through an emotional storm if your person blocked them. Okay. So take it where it resonates. But I feel more or less, you know, for some of you, like I said, um, whatever it is, they can dish it, but they can't take it. 
Okay. I guess they wanted you to be sidetracked, uh, infatuated with them, and going through an emotional storm while they blocking you and walking away from you. Yeah, they didn't see the beauty in you. They didn't see how kind-hearted you were. Yeah. Mistakes out here. Now they can be playing the victim because you done blocked them. Yeah, you set some boundaries. <clears throat> you you told them no about something. You said enough is enough. And you blocked them. Yep. You set some boundaries. You you some of you actually set some boundaries. I mean, you moved. You you literally moved to set boundaries between you and this person. It's like enough is enough. I'm drawing the line, I'm packing my shit and I'm moving. Somebody could even move somewhere like some something like the desert. From the city, from where you was at, it's it's a, a big city. I don't know why I hear you. New York City, Los Angeles. Um, you moved from like a big city to where uh, it's it's more desert life. Like you may have moved up west or some west. Like the, I see, like. Somebody may have moved to Arizona or Vegas, somewhere where it's dry. Like, okay, you move from a city to a place, or if you do live in Vegas, you you moved out. You moved um, from from Las Vegas, and you could move move more on the outskirts of Vegas, where you know, because Vegas has cities that. The, uh, I guess you would call it they downtown or they main spot, but you moved on the outside of that hot ass motherfucker. Yeah, that's hell. I think it's a portal to hell up in that motherfucker. But yeah, somebody moved from from the city to like it don't it don't it don't look like country. It, it kind of look like a deserted place. Okay. Yeah, you 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 ghosted this person. They don't like that. Yeah, they apparently they ghosted you one time too many and they came back and you had disappeared. Like I said, some of y'all actually packed up and left. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, if you got over that broken heart, moved on. This person broke your heart. Now all they can do is reminisce about you because you ain't there. Yep, you escaped. They can't find you. Blocking, pushing away, avoiding. Separation, space, distance. They don't like that. Mm -mm. If you ain't moved across the state or moved away from the state, you could be still avoiding this person. You may go somewhere where you usually shop. You could be going to a whole different grocery store. You may go to a whole different gas station or if there's a corner store by your house or something, you don't even go there no more at the little market. You go into different places, the car wash you used to go to. You ain't going there no more. You're actually avoiding this person and they've fallen apart. Yeah. They could have been doing shit like that to you. But I'm not a kid no more, so I must open doors to make you feel like the lady you are. My mama raised me to be classy, not flashy. I'm happy to please you. Though I can tell that's not what you're used to. Ooh. And they say, chivalry is dead. Girl, let a real man pick up the slack and treat you with respect. Yeah, and you don't have to love me. You don't have to love me. Just because I'm a gentleman don't mean I ain't taking you to bed. Yeah. Oh, baby, let me wipe your tears. Let me feel you over heels. I feel that you deserve it. There's no question we can do whatever makes it possible. Yeah, I can float your boat. Something, something, the, the note. Something about the rope, the note that he just wrote. 
Girl, just take my hand and let me be the man. No, that's not what you're used to. And they say, chivalry is dead, dead. Yeah, so this person has the energy of chivalry is dead. I'm not giving you your my jacket if you cold. I ain't even going to roll my window up. I, I, I turn my heater on, but I'm not rolling my windows up. You know, um, I'm not going to do nothing for you to work. Ain't no man going to throw his jacket in the puddle no more for you to step over a puddle. <laughs> Those men were crazy, okay? But, you know, these are men who, you know, bring women flowers and do nice things for them. Just out of respect and out of love. Whoever this energy is, they wasn't doing that. So now you gone and you ain't thinking about them. You done blocked them. Well, they say chivalry is dead. It's dead. Girl, let a real man pick up the slack and treat you with respect. Not tweet, treat. And you don't have to love me. You don't have to love me. Just because I'm a gentleman don't mean I ain't taking you to bed. And you don't have to love me. You don't have to love me. Just because I'm a gentleman don't mean I ain't taking you to bed. So that song may be significant to somebody. If I gave you any clarification in your situation, go ahead, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next reading. Peace out.